Many times the shape of a bone defect caused by periodontal disease means treatment can be directed towards getting the bone to fill the defect. Sometimes the shape of the defect can be determined before a surgery, but in many cases the defect needs to be directly seen in order to make a final determination as to whether the defect will allow for any bone fill. To get the correct type of tissue to fill the defect, the surgery needs to include the placement of a membrane just beneath the surface tissue. This membrane is a special type of material that is well tolerated by your body. It allows nutrition from your blood system to get through, but will prevent the system tissue from getting into the defect. Limiting the type of tissue that can get into the defect encourages the defect to be filled with bone and connective tissue derived from the bone. The membrane typically is kept in place for four to six weeks, then either needs to be removed or is absorbed by your body. The defect will take longer for the tissue to mature, but over time the defect will have some fill from the base, limiting the probing depth and making the defect easier to maintain. The results of this procedure will normally provide for an increased attachment for the treated teeth and will provide for a reduction in pocket depths, making your oral hygiene procedures much more effective.